Hello and welcome to yet another quick tutorial for Blender. And today, what I want to do or show you is a quick setup for creating a translucent material for the curtain. Very great for interior designs or interior setups that you're doing for any client or any project. So what we do have here is just a quick um, room setup that I did. And we will use this model of a curtain that I got from blenderkits.com. It came with its own texture material, but I want to create one from scratch. And in the, in the next tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to just set up Blender kits for Blender so that you can actually pull in models from there directly into your scene. It's pretty handy and quick to help you uh, execute projects as quickly as possible. So what we have here is uh, a curtain that we've built or gotten from Blender Kits and we've applied it over here for our scene. Now this can work one way or the other, but I've, found, I've wanted to try out if we could or create a illusion of one strong, you know, sunlight and like makes its way through the curtain so we, even though here we can find that the material, the material blocks out the lights you can still find some bit of brightness coming into the scene now for us to do so we will basically use the principal bsdf to set this up we have other um, nodes extra nodes that we can use the translucent bsdf but um we will just play around with the principal BSDF and then get this uh, feature or this uh, look that we want. So what I'll do is that I'll create a new texture for our curtains and go over to our materials and we'll type and give it curtain text or this curtain text and what we'll do is we'll get rid of the material on this object. We switch over to our uh, then writing text. Take both of this. Now we have our writing text ready to be used for our setup. So. The way we go about this is that um, one, we will need to introduce our mix shader. Now, this mix shader is what is going to help us control the level of uh, light that will pass through the, the object without necessarily making it transparent as glass. And then we will connect a, a texture to give it a unique look. So we have here our image texture. Call out quick material that we have here. Round party texture. And a base color added to our scene. So once we have this and now begin to tweak our principal BSDF, we get the look that we are out once. Now before I continue, we'll be doing some comparisons of uh, the renders to see the difference per the tweaks that we're going to make with the principal BSDF. So what I'm going to do is quickly set up a render. This is slot one. You okay. render slot one. Go ahead to render image. Let's just give it a few seconds to render our scene out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to basically test out our material as we go along. So you can actually spot the difference in how the material will behave. Okay, so 
um, what we do have here is our first uh, setup for our scene and what we'll do is uh, we flip this for slot one now we come back to our shader editor there are just a few tweaks we're going to do on our object here now the first thing is that we will turn down our specular completely up to zero and our roughness will scale it all the way to one next is we're going to tweak our transmission and we're going to give it 0 0.75 and in the alpha we will tune this to 0 0.85 So, for this quick setup, let us call out our, yeah, this is the first scene, and we're going to render this out in our second slot, so you can see the difference that we're going to get. Okay, so we have our render done. I can see that uh, we can make out the background from the setup of the sunlight. From within the curtain. Now, if you compare that to slot two, I'll take a look at this scene and light sources are a bit dark over here. But when you compare it to this scene, there's more light that comes in. So, if we want to give it more control, the areas that we can play around with would be one our mix shader. So what we're going to do here is we're going to reduce this and we'll go back to our view render on slot 3 and we'll test out our okay so now with slot 3 we compare that to slot 2 and slot 1 so with the mixer sheet the mix shader it gives you some level of control now you can also play around with the transmission and the alpha but what happens is when you do that you lose more of the image texture from it so let's say for example if we have to turn this in for a lower fee of let's say 0 0.5 now if you look at the preview of the scene here it takes out most of the color from the texture and makes it more like a glassy look which we do not want to achieve that even though it helps introduce more light into the scene but you lose the curtain effect that you want over here so let's say we go back to our bring this let's put that to slot 4 and try out our render image again now if you take a closer look at this you have more lights coming into our scene but we've lost detail in our written material compare this to the other and tell the level of detail so a great way to actually fake the lights coming into the scene without actually affecting your material is to tweak your alpha very minimal changes and then affect most of the change within your next shader so let's return this back to 0 0.85 and and tweak most of your um, settings from the mix shader and the transmission of alpha but most around you'll be playing around with the mix shader so this is just a quick uh, tutorial one that i was playing around with and then i got this uh, quick tip you can actually introduce uh, soft lights into your scenes whenever you're doing interior designs without necessarily losing quality on your uh, curtain material so uh thank you so much and uh we'll come to you with yet another video um, this coming week or the coming month of february so then have a great day